Fences sometimes indicate the physical borders in a community, but more often than not, the stronger borders are the intangible ones. Most communities have some degree of separateness to society. Some are welcoming of new members, others not as much. The very intimacy within a community can be a border to outsiders. Queen's recently erected a physical border around their community to combat theft. I wasn't even all that happy uh, that that happened uh, because I think it's, it's, it's obviously we need a fence but to be welcoming and to have people walking through is a good thing but security is also an issue and, and a number of years ago you may remember that students were very keen that at, at night that the college should be closed off and so we did that. It, because it is a, a home for people and people want to feel safe in their home I think it's fine that it is um, gated like that um, and you want to do have more of a sense of this is our defined borders, this is where we are, this is where Queen's is, and I know I have friends and I'm safe in this area. Because of thefts, there has come to be a stranger danger attitude at the college. It's justified to an extent, but I mean, it's, it's gotten to the point where people are just suspicious of, of someone purely because they don't know them. And that's, that's not a healthy level of fear, I don't think, in any community. And we should be welcoming of, you know, people coming in. That said, um, when I've had friends come around, like I've got a friend that always studies with me during swap vac and um, you know, people are fairly accepting of that, like they don't really, they don't care that someone's coming and sharing our meals for a week and they don't mind that they're using our study space. Um, well there's this whole thing of calling people who walk through Queens randoms, which I don't agree with, but I think once people let's say someone like brings someone to Queens a lot and everyone gets to start to know them then they just start to become like part of Queens, I guess. Yeah. But there is this sort of random, keep out the randoms view a little bit, but I don't think only idiots kind of agree with that, yeah. <laughs> I reckon. Queeners do tend to feel excluded once they leave the community and become wyverns. But, but I think it's a voluntary exclusion. So, yeah. Kind of, but I don't mind. Like, I would feel more than welcome to go and visit there, but I think it's very, very insular when you're there and you don't realise until you leave that um, how insular it is, I think. I'm going on exchange and I think, like I wouldn't come back after exchange because I think college is a journey. I don't think it's just a place you live at. So it's something that you start at and like experience with people and then once you leave, you're gone. That's what I think. Queen's is so self-sufficient and intimate that it can run the risk of becoming insular. To some degree, Queen's is, is an inward-looking community. Um, it knows who the members of the community are. It does a lot of things with members of the community. I think that that's inevitable. Um, but I think it's also a very open community in the sense of welcoming to other people who come and visit. I think it's inclusive for, for those who are at Queen's, but I think for other people it's, it's quite exclusive. I mean, if you look at um, the regular Thursday night at Dan O'Connell's that, that's been going on for the past year or so, people don't want other colleges there and they just want it as a night for purely Queen's people. I think we are welcoming to outsiders. Like if people came here, we'd be welcoming towards them. But at the same time, we're a very close community. Like I. I have tried to make uni friends but I haven't been very successful just because I've got all this here and same with everyone else so we end up just stuck in Queens all the time and because we're satisfied and comfortable with it we don't really see the need to go out. I have spoken to first year students who tell me after a month look I've been so involved here at Queens I hardly know what's going on outside the college so that's a danger we're aware of that. Is that you're in this bubble where everything is just here I mean I probably wouldn't have known about a whole bunch of stuff that's going on outside of college for the first few weeks. So I was just so involved in what was going on. You know, if, if, if you're too inward looking, then you forget that there's a lot of things happening in society uh, that you should be involved in and that you should be concerned about. The first year as a fresher tends to be overwhelming, but most people find a healthier balance after a while. And my two best mates from Darwin who came with me to Melbourne, you know, we're like, yeah, we'll catch up every weekend, we'll go out. 
And the reality was I was so heavily involved in what was going on at Queen's that I didn't pay enough attention to them probably. And like they told me about it because we're good mates so we kind of sort it out now. But um, I definitely neglected that side of my life, my old life before I was at Queen's while I was at Queen's because it is a closed community that everything you do or need is, is there in the one place.